talking about. Even we got the order, I don't see our name on it. Uh, and, and we asked uh, the city attorney's office to look into this. And I, I assume, I mean, maybe the assertion is that non-debtor parties is the entire world. Therefore, we have some, something to do, but I didn't hear what it is we're supposed to do. There was apparently an, an eviction, but the city's not the owner of the property, nor, nor is it involved in the action between the debtor and the creditors. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. You'll take it and look yes, at it. Yes, I will. Thank you. There's one other uh, public comment car pending. This is bullshit. The city is the owner. The city owns these properties through another uh, crime group. Uh, groups. There's actually several crime groups. Uh, one is run by the Balbaki family, the Kimura family, and the Monji family. And uh, they take the properties on. The properties are transferred to them for actually as low as nothing, zero money, nine dollars, you know, all the way up to ten thousand dollars in some cases, and uh, is run. But once that happens, then the city collects the uh, uh, the money. Everybody sp sh splits it and shares it um, from the insurance frauds. They get people in there, and they take advantage of them. None of these properties have any occupancy requirements on them. None of them. There's a $100,000 fine for having multiple uh, no occupancy, and yet they won't enforce it. But they will enforce it on yours if you're a private owner and, uh, you know, just a regular person. They will look up your poop chute and they will go after every single thing. you got to have a permit for for your uh, uh, garbage disposal, putting a new garbage disposal in, which is ridiculous. But anyway, that's how it works. And these guys are building their own city. And this is how they're doing it. And they're taking over properties one by one by one by one. Right now, this second, properties are being taken in Pasadena. Uh, oh, Army Reserve Center. I realize that's on the agenda later, but it's a totally different issue. Uh, the problem is that there is very likely has been hazardous materials released at this site. Before I get into it, let me state my qualifications. I am Dr. Robert Tate. I have degrees from Caltech in geology and engineering. I have a doctorate from University of California at San Diego in granular fluid flow sediment mechanics. What was done at Desiderio in the transfer process was totally incorrect from the Army standpoint. They did not do their environmental due diligence that's required in such a report. They are required to submit uh, what's called, I, I want to get things correct so I have to read it, an environmental condition of the property report, which they did not. It was passed off by remarks such as, I quote, no phase one has been done on this site. However, it has been used only for classroom training since the 1950s. That statement is incorrect and ir no. um, Yes. Not for us. I'm Gloria Talamantes. Talamantes? Yes. Okay. Now, you, and you're the lead supervisor, right? For the. I am the lead person for the call center. Oh, for the call center. Okay. Yes. It's an electrical issue, not a water issue. I can understand with the water issue. That was in the uh, the other guy's name. That was in the uh, uh, one of the owners' names. Yeah. Well, the water was involved too because the water was contaminated. How was the water contaminated? So the water is also involved. 